Welcome to my live stream. Okay, I've just finished reinstalling a new version of MechJeb. Right. Uh, this series, what I'm going to do is try to see if I can beat the career mode of uh, Kerbal Space Program in using nothing, nothing but MechJeb. Uh, if you've actually followed my channel before, you'll know that I've actually done this before. And I have, this is my third attempt at this series, I'm still working the bugs out in it. Uh, yeah, I keep finding that I hadn't really done it correctly, then I have some more ideas and, and I think, well, okay, if, I, if I'm going to change um, how, how I'm going to do it, um, I, have to, um, I have to start again. Alright, so I'll just set up a new game. Uh, I'm just going to call this one... Um, Got a slightly different name. Um, what was I going to call it? I wrote it down even. Oh, yeah. Just short and to the point. Right, okay. I just, um, um, ah, oh, couldn't, couldn't find any good flags, I won't worry about that. Now, there's a couple of slight changes I make. I don't worry about the comms network. Um, um, just can't. I just can't be bothered uh, worrying about it. So, it's basically, I'm playing it on um, normal mode. Um, I'll just check. Um, everything's pretty good. Yeah, well, I won't be using COS anyway. I've got it installed, but I won't be using it. Uh, let's just move the um, the crew respawn down to one hour. That that's enough. Okay, set that. <coughs> and I'll start. So I might have to turn the music down a little bit in the amb ambience. Right, okay. Yeah, so what's been happening with me, um, I had uh, COVID-19 COVID back in um, uh, May. And I got over it all right, but I wasn't sort of 100% and then um, a week or two ago, um, I, you know, I kept it myself and all that. And uh, to make sure it was all gone and everything. And I'd sort of only ducked out to the service station. And I'd only ducked out to the, um, the supermarket. And I came down with a um, something else. And I tested myself and it wasn't COVID. And it turned out it was just a head cold. But, oh boy. Um... It's certain I've still got it. <laughs> so I think you get a head cold after you get uh, COVID, um, or if you get fl seasonal flu after you get COVID, um, look after yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a painful cough and everything. Um, so yeah, obviously if you um, deteriorates, um, call up your um, call up your doctor and find out what you should be doing. Alrighty. Anyway, yeah, so I might still be sounding a bit rough from that. Uh, so where we start? We start at the beginning, I guess. Alright. Um, let's go through these one at a time. Um, Alright. So launch our first vessel. Um, now, okay, the way... Oh, that, that that's right. Sorry, my apologies. I'm actually going to be starting... Let's go back again. I'm going to be taking a shortcut here. Um, now this is this is a tech tree, and um, MechJeb actually um, you 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 unlock parts of MechJeb as as you as you go, um, just like you do in under normal normal progression. I just know where the first MechJeb part shows up. Oh, I hope I haven't mucked it up. 
Uh, I'll find it. Yeah, there's there's a uh, mixture part, one mixture part there. But anyway, yeah, the the bottom line is you have to um, you have to um, unlock a lot of the tech tree before you can unlock uh, mechjeb. So that um, I've tried that out, but it takes too long. So what I do is I um, I go and alter a configuration file and unlock all functionality of mechjeb, at least the parts that'll work um, from this node here, which is the uh, start node. So all right, so I'm just going to have to switch scenes. I think if this works. I've already got the file up there, hopefully you can see that. The notepad editor. I don't really want to show you my file system, but um, it's in the um, the MacJeb, um, I'll write the notes down. It's in the MacJeb um, parts directory. And I don't know if you, you, can't, you probably can't read that at the top. It's actually a, a file that's called MacJeb no command pod dot cfg that's one word now I'm not really sure why it's called that but um, this is where it uh, controls the um, controls which parts of the tech tree unlock which parts of mechjeb so you can see that you can see things like um, uh, flight control advanced control unmanned tech and all that they're, they're, they're nodes they're the names of nodes in the tech tree so what I'm going to do is like it's done at the bottom I'm going to change them just change them all to start so um, we'll do that right now so that's how it's done uh, right See, if I know I've got an audience, it makes me a bit clumsy, so you have to forgive me. <laughs> okay, so try not to muck this up. Because problems are hard to debug in a uh, uh, Kerbal Space Program if you make a mistake somewhere. <laughs> Just change all the, all of these ones to start. Should always take a backup of it too, and but don't keep the backup. Um, don't keep the backup in the same directory. Um, take it off and put it in your documents folder or something like that. Because uh, even even un renamed stuff um, will get picked up by um, Kerbal Space Program, and it might have some unintended consequences. So don't leave a backup file lying around in the um, in the parts directory. Um, that's not a good idea because whatever's in the parts directory it'll, it'll read it and attempt to process it so it's all a very simple system. It's quite good I like it but uh, they didn't do anything really complicated. Um, they didn't try to use a registry or um, anything like that in Windows thank God. <laughs> this makes things hard for you. Alright so just change all that back in um, Notepad and I'll just save that and move straight back off the screen to the game screen again there we go so I'm gonna have to shut the game down and start it back up again so just give me a uh, oh yeah no that's correct um, just give me a minute on this and hopefully it'll work now let me so I'm going to have to shut the game. Yeah, I do have a, um, a noise suppressor on this uh, microphone, but I'm not using it at the moment. But if anyone thinks it will work, give, just let me know and I'll, I can always switch it on if you, it's picking up too much noise from my uh, PC or anything like that. Unfortunately, you might hear sort of clunking sounds. It's because the ruddy cable, as I move around, the cable kind of taps things and stuff like that. I really do need a microphone. But I'm only going to get a, micro, uh, a proper d um, desk mic when um, I get monetized, so I'm a, I'm a long way off, unfortunately. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I've been uh, firing it up from Steam, so it's been synchronizing for me. Right. You might see blank screen for a bit. <coughs> Excuse me if I keep coughing. So you have to understand, um, in Australia, it's the middle of winter at the moment. This is. Um, uh, in July is, is is basically our coldest month, and we've been having a lot of um, poor weather as well. Been really unusual this year. It's balancing up for all the bushfires that we had a couple of years ago, I think. Pure Mac chip yet load. All right, let's see if it hope, hope that it worked. Uh, um, okay, that's weird. What happened there? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what did I do? Push the push the wrong wrong game, didn't I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, that one. It's an old game. I will delete that game once I know I've transitioned um, okay into the new game. All right. So okay. So um, uh, yeah. Um, the way I think the way to test it is to. Um, Yeah. See what it does is it's it. Hmm. Yeah, I think the easiest way is to just test it. See if the Mick um options come up. Okay, those options did. Oh, we just launched that. Ah, uh, sent guidance. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yep, all the advanced options are opened up. There you go, so uh, that was successful. All right, so what I'll do is, um, I'll end the stream now. Um, I just wanted this one to be a quick one. Um, I'll tell you the reason why, um, even though I'm, I'm sending these out live, um, it's, uh, a lot of people do actually watch the, um, the, rec the recording of it, the VODs, afterwards. Um, so I, I, th I sort of half, half make it live and half make it recorded. It's nice of uh, YouTube to actually store the file for me. I don't. I don't even store it at my end because um, I don't think this live stuff's all that valuable. Um, at least not yet, anyway. So I don't even bother um, recording it myself. So it's nice of YouTube to uh, store a couple of different versions of the VOD for me forever. It's quite um, quite generous of them. Anyway, so I let them do that. So I just want to keep this one short because it's a it's a how-to file and it's a how-to one um, video and how how-to videos um, always rate well. <laughs> so I'm thinking of myself, you see. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll just finish up and um, I shall catch you next stream.